everybody good afternoon from berlin and yes we're back we've got i'm with three incredibly handsome gentlemen today um first of course um but not at all first but not at all last no least but not at all first tim kelly handsome tim from melbourne hi everyone <laughs> <laughs> hi hi tim thank you for staying up late again no stefan door you've had a shave Yes, oh Stefan J too, but somewhere else. Don't you look beautiful? And Stefan J, you had the shave too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I come. Yeah, yeah, great. Maybe we will stop that conversation right now. I don't want it to go okay. any further. Um, <laughs> um, hey, you guys! I got a present in the mail today. Can I show you? <laughs> new socks. No. Not new socks. Look at my shoes. Oh goodness, they have a horn on them. Wow. Look at those. <laughs> wow. My brother, dear Alistair, who's a conductor in uh, South Bend Symphony in Indiana, he sent me these for my birthday in February, and they've just arrived today. So oh, aren't they, what, what do you think, I'm... you guys? The wrong model, <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, that's not, is that, what horn is that? It's a French horn. Okay, French horn is good. <laughs> <laughs> Yamaha 667. <laughs> okay, we're going to warm up today. Have you all got your horns? I think you have. I, I, Selena's got brownies, she wrote. Um, Hannah from Bavaria is very sad that your beard has gone, Stefan. Dave is in sunny Dele, Devon. Brenda and Sebastian in Alabama. Simon in Yorkshire. Clinton, uh, New York. Alexandra, Cape Town, Annika, Slovenia. As if you've got, you've got all, Devon's watching. Thank you, Devon, for being there and for all your help. Great. Are we ready to warm up? If you're watching on Facebook, get your horns out. And if you've got any questions for us, which we probably won't have a lot of time for today because we're going to be playing. Um, yeah, get over to the chat on the website and put your questions in. Otherwise, I would say time to warm up, guys. I think I'll leave you guys to it. Have fun. Chicken, <laughs> chicken. Bye. <laughs> all right, see you in a bit, Tim. So what we thought we'd do today is that we thought we'd start off, um, I get the easiest job, <laughs> the buzzing and the getting ready to warm up. Stefan J is going to start with some more easier warm ups that, um, that are good for beginners, but also good for all of us. And then Stefan Dora is going to warm up on high C's and pedal F's, right? Yes. <laughs> good. Everybody ready? Okay. So mouthpieces at the ready. Get your mouthpieces. You can put your horn on your lap or whatever. But our bodies are part of our horn playing. I, I think I think we all agree that that's very important. So how often do we do this? This is one a, a sports therapist told me this is one of the best things horn players can do. Circle your shoulders to the back like that. Ah, oh, I can hear your joints cracking, you guys. And then circle them oh, the yeah. other way. How does that feel? <laughs> up and down, up and down. OK, exactly. And then like that. Good. Stretch your arms out. Up. Back. Oh. Keep it there for a minute. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, all the stretching is a minimum of 25 seconds. So. Yeah. <laughs> Shake him out. I usually do this because I've had a lot of problems with my wrists, my right wrist. So I just sort of warm it up like this. Just, uh, I've seen violinists. What are you doing there? Quite helpful. I'm just, just, I've got my hands together and I'm just sort of snaking around just to get the, the, the wrist a little bit, a bit more on the, good, good, <laughs> good. So now we're going to take a really big breath, a really dark, low air breath. And what you can do if you want to make it really dark <laughs> and free in your throat, you can take your finger and you can suck against your finger like this. Try this, three, four, and out, and three, four again, and breathe out. And now I'm going to throw a bucket of cold water over you, and I want you to breathe in very quickly as if you've got a bucket of cold water like this. Okay, ready? And, and out, and out, and again. And out. Good. How do you feel, guys? Cold. A bit cold. Cold. Yeah, cold. <laughs> yeah, bucket of cold water. 
So we've got our mouthpieces and Stefan and, and I have done this in a previous hangout about, I don't know, hangout number two, three, four, a couple of weeks ago. Important is that you don't press your mouthpiece onto your face. Yeah, hold it right at the end. Or if you guys have better other tips how you could do that, just to make sure that it doesn't go, uh, yeah, uh, so, exactly. So we're ready for the first note. Take a good dark breath. <laughs> okay. So we want, what do you want? Two, two beats holding and two beats I'll go, breathing? I'll go one, two, take a breath. One, okay, two, okay. And um, don't use your tongue yet. Just go with the buzz, okay? Three, four. Take a breath. Stefan? If you conduct, then you're always. I better be not like... conduct. Okay, I'll, I'll conduct that then. Sando, without pressing on your lips. I can feel all that spit coming through the airways. So it's just a little bit. To... <laughs> That's right. Okay, so it's basically just a, for me and for I know Stefan D, Stefan J, I'm not quite sure about your philosophy on buzzing. Stefan D and I don't do a lot of buzzing on the mouthpiece, sometimes just to see how it feels like, but it's basically you'll feel your lips vibrating a little bit just to get the, the air going. Stefan J, what's your philosophy on buzzing on the mouthpiece? Well, I don't usually buzz as part of my daily routine, but sometimes I use it as a tool when I'm teaching, when um, a student has some issues with a certain note, sometimes to, to really th find out what the embouchure is doing and what the air is doing, it, it, it helps to, to uh, eliminate variables and one way is to take the horn away. So the horn is not a factor, so it's just a matter, you're down to your lips and your mouthpiece. So this is also a way which um, what I will start with this warm-up exercise that, that Sarah started by getting the air going, the body warmed up, the lips vibrating. So we're going to just take where Sarah uh, left off here and and elaborate this on a little bit and add the horn. So what we have is that the buzzing. Uh, got just just one one very short thing. When when I do buzz, I actually try to cover three quarters or two thirds of my of the outlet of the mouthpiece, oh. so that the feeling is a bit closer to to, to the horn. With the resistance, otherwise it fell, feels like falling off a bit. So I try to cover show, it. A bit. Show us that again, Stefan. Exactly right. closer. Okay. What do you do? So if you if you like, to, if you have it like in two fingers and you okay. take take the ah, other okay. finger and just put it like at the end, say right. Why this. didn't you so tell me that half... fifteen years ago? Uh, ah, this is so good. It's a bit closer to it's a bit closer to the feeling that you have on the horn. Let's try yeah. that once. Let's try it once. Yeah. You do it for us and then we'll do it we'll, we'll do it together. So. I think that's really good dangerous that I would want to press more on my lips. Uh, I think it, for me it's the opposite because you have a resistance of the air coming back and you can okay. feel it more like on the horn. So that's that's what I would sorry. Stefan, go on. No, Stefan. I would agree Wait. totally with Stefan D with this matter. That's also I forgot to mention, but I've always been doing this for years to simulate the resistance of the horn. When it adds a little bit more resistance to the end of the mouthpiece, exactly what Stefan uh, was talking about. I agree with this hundred percent. 
And so we have, a, a, when we just pick up the mouthpiece and play uh, a certain note, the, easy, the easiest, most natural note, it, usually in the middle register. Uh, and so I like to take this, take the horn and play this note. Let's see how close it is to an F. It was close to an F, it was actually more close to an E, but I like, as a starting note, I like to take this F. And this is a very easy pattern. We play a half note, rest for a half note, play another half note, rest for another half note, and then play a whole note with a thermometer. Okay. And this doesn't, doesn't really need the tongue. To get the air, if the note should actually respond without using the tongue. Um, so you, you play it for us? Bit. You play it for us? And then Stefan, Stefan, you'll conduct us. I'm going to put myself on mute while I play it so that um oh, you've muted yourself okay then okay then I'll play okay got it okay right. I'll start I'll just demonstrate it like you think of a, a pulse going a, a quarter note 60 beats per minute so that's each second one beat so just approximately like one two three four <laughs> Did you hear that? I had a bit of, I had a bit of a problem hearing you, but it's basically just four Fs in a row. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, three, three Fs. One, three Fs in a row. Three, yeah. Okay. That's Two, Let, two beats, two beats break, two beats, two beats break, so that's okay. four beats. Yeah. Let's try and the last one together. the tomato. And okay. the things to concentrate on is getting a beautiful sound, opening up the throat with the right vowel sound to make the sound beautiful, control over the air. Okay. If you want to, okay. Let, let's, let's, let's do that all together. So Stefan, Stefan, you're not, you're unmuted. So, um, I Stefan, know, I just play very soft. Okay. You conduct. Okay. Three. Okay, and then how many notes do we do this with? Okay, we go up half steps, so the next note would be our F sharp. We keep going until the G. So we don't want to, to uh, um, this, is, this is an easy warm up. We don't want to go in the extreme upper register. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So can we do, can we do that on a higher note now? Good on a C. On a C. Okay. On Stop a C. You, you lead us. Okay. <sighs> And so okay. on. Yeah, go okay. on. Okay, and so okay. on. Good. Okay, then we go back down. We go where we left off. We go to the E, back to the middle register, back to this note. And we take this E, then we continue chromatically down. So we've gone from the F up to the G, and from the F, the E again down to the low E or F. Okay. And so we, we'll play with you. We'll play with you. You start on an so E. Maybe, and maybe we stay, maybe stay. We, we now go, because we have done the C, let's go an octave lower to take the octave lower, just the C. Okay. We start from the so C, okay. Octave lower, oh. octave lower the C's. We, oh. the, the aim oh. of this is just getting the air going, keeping the throat open. Stefan, it's a little hard to hear you on the third one. I don't know why you're, the microphone's a little bit Okay, good. I will play maybe. My mic. I would have to get a better microphone for this, but that's uh, that's going to be happening till now. Until then, I will just play louder and talk louder and hope. Good. To... Okay, go for it. We're we're playing with okay, you. Ready? So, okay. One, three, four. 
I keep stopping before the last one is, is over. Oh, okay. Stefan's other oh, is. Um, and then how about a low one? Like, what would you say? A low G? Uh, yeah, we can even have this. Uh, uh, or this G. Oh. No, 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 no. This G. Okay. Okay, okay one thing one. to remember, though, is to breathe out after the half note. So it's breathing in, like Sarah described, but quickly like the bucket of water thing that was very good then we use a breath like that and since we're going to have too much air we're not going to use up all the air in one half note this dynamic so we breathe out again Keep forgetting to hold that. Okay, next. Okay. Then we, we can continue down. Uh, what would you say? Take the F sharp. The yeah, thing is, but now maybe maybe moving on to another exercise because okay. we, we've got we lots move on lots of another some... exercise. Yeah. <clears throat> this is one to maintain just the evenness of the register. So we start with the <clears throat> nice middle register note of G, and we go up in the C major scale. And then we take the next one and go up. So the exercise goes like this. <laughs> Okay, let's do that that's one. A, that's a maybe only with one repeat. So, because okay. otherwise you run out of the time. By the way, Gail, Gail Williams is NU Horn class is watching. Hello, Gail. There's masses of people from Brazil on the chat. I will see you very soon. Um, there's a lot of people. Oh, my goodness. It's so fantastic. So thank you for, for watching this. It's a little bit weird. This is the first time we've done this, the three of us. So bear with us. We're, we're doing more beginner exercises now. We're getting on to a little bit more advanced ones in a minute. OK, so starting on a G. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. We have a problem. Only, only one of us can play. Stefan, only one of us can play because it's just too distorted. Okay. Stefan, Jay, you show us. We're going to do it. We're going to listen. The rest, the rest of the world is going to play with G. you. It, yeah. The Ready? Things, the, the, things, the reason one is doing this is to maintain evenness of sound and absolute perfect legato between the notes. No bumps. Really smooth. And okay. Beautiful sound. expand this up to the high C and then one can start again at the G and work one's way down to play complete okay. lower register. So this is just simple Great. exercises to get the air flowing, to get this to work on the beauty of sound and the smoothness of smoothness of legato. Okay. Thank you, Stefan. That's really great. And we're going to sort you out with a, a microphone, I think, because we, we want, I want to hear you, your beautiful yeah, sound agree. even better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Stefan D, let's move on to some tonguing, maybe, or something like tonguing? that. Tonguing? Okay. Um, one of my favorites is um, it's a bit of like um, scale, but first of all, you repeat the note, then you play the scale up, repeat the note, play the scale down, and repeat the note. I just 
play one time and you play one you time can... and then I'll play it back to you. Yeah. Okay, and we, so and C we're major, you know, easy. Right. One time a bit slower. Okay, hey. that is not the speed. The speed, oh. okay, the speed is a bit faster. Okay, maybe we'll try something in the middle because I know we have a lot of a lot right. of beginners watching. Ready? Ready? Good for C sharp. Okay, ready? Start again. Three, four. Okay. Also, look that your fingers are still on the valve. Yeah. Good. Uh, just one second. We're getting a lot of advice about microphones. Thank you so much. I know it's not the greatest to hear. We're we're all just sort of swimming around here. We're not not technicians. Yeah, we're we're trying to do the. But I know Zoom has some things. We we're working on it. This is the first time we've tried this. So excuse us for any sort of delay. But you guys know what we're doing. So let, let's thank you for all the advice. Any advice more than welcome, especially because all of us are teaching online online now. Um, Stefan signed up with Play With a Pro. Stefan J probably will do something very soon. And as soon as I have time and no horn hangouts, I will do it, teach more online as well. But yeah, any any recommendations? Thank you. Where were we, Stefan? Um, F sharp. Ah, I was hoping you'd forgotten that. Okay, F sharp. One, two, three. <laughs> Well done. Just keep the fingers on that. Just kidding. Oh, okay. sorry. Oh, were they, were uh, they going? No, 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 no. Just the last one. Back. Keep Whoa. your fingers on the valves. It's very important because when you get old like me, you can't change it anymore. Right. Much better than me. I'm, I haven't been practicing for one or two days um one other I'm finding, one i'm finding the tongue gets slower it really we've got to practice the tonguey more because my tongue's getting a little slow yeah another one for tonguing um um one time slow <laughs> So you set the speed with a legato, so. Right, Stefan, your turn. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, we did that, we did that one already. Which one? No, the one. So legato to the G back and then staccato to the G back. Okay, uh, legato to the C. Okay, everybody, one on a C. One, two, three. Uh, first legato. Play it again. Okay. okay. The first time is always legato, so. Okay. Okay. Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think, to be honest, I think a lot of beginners, we need to slow it down. I thought that was not the beginners anymore. But okay, if, the good thing a is, bit, it's a little bit slower. Clemmy is watching. Oh, one, one time okay. Oh, I can't play this one. Okay. Three, four. <laughs> Why are you trying to play the F sharp on the F horn now? Okay, good, um, good question. I always play F sharp on the F horn. Always. Play that. <laughs> And now we add another difficulty. Three, four. Next four. <laughs> Everyone's playing it. Can't you hear them? Okay, good. What about um, that... what about a little bit of flexibility? Oh, Sarah, please show us. Oh, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I want to keep it really simple. I don't think my microphone. Okay, can... a simple one. A simple yeah. one. Um, that's the open B flat sign. Okay. Just do ho 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 ho. Okay, let's do that. A little bit slower. And yeah. Down. Very loose, no Two. pressure. Three. Sorry, second. All on the B flat. Uh, what note are we on? Now, this is quite hard. I, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. There's the wrong break, so. Stefan J, do you have any tips for these ones getting around the break when you're warming up? Yes, I, th I found that very interesting listening to you two last week when you're talking about the break. And I agree with how Stefan, uh, his philosophy of the break is to have a range of notes where one can play either with the upper or the lower embouchure. And one has to pragmatically find one's way depending on the passage one is playing. For example, if I was playing I would stay on the lower embouchure for the D, but if I was playing something like I would play the D with the upper embouchure. This, this. So um, I have a range where I can uh, be flexible with the embouchure to find a pragmatic position for that sounds good. The ear has to be the judge, but you know, okay. I do have a different setting for the low notes than for the okay. upper. That's rich. a really good point. That's very interesting. Go back to a couple of the hangouts before or last week, or I don't know what number it was, but Stefan talked about that a lot, about the, the upper and the lower embouchure. We're, we're on A, a flat, on the B horn. Three, four. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, that's not working. F horn. Are you tonguing them now, Stefan? Do I, no. no, okay. Three. And, and 
one song. Yeah. So you're going to go down to one, three, one, two, one, two, three, I'm F on, so, one, three, F on, slap it. I'm so glad you're showing us that you do these because it's so important. The middle range is such a muddy range for so many uh, people and it's quite wobbly. Wash your hands first. Um, uh, so yeah, that's really good. No, no, yeah, this is one step one, but step two would be. Not for now. Not for now. Can you give us an easier version of that? We can try now a little bit slower so that we can speed well, it up at home. Just maybe we'll just add one. Okay. All open. And then you just jump one. Okay. Good. Okay. Next one, um, E. Oh. Okay, Stefan's got Stefan Jay's got he's got this one. It's it's just B flat horn, yeah. Second vowel. Second vowel. Yeah. And all legato, no tugging. Um Greg Russo just got up in LA. Hi, Greg. Good morning. Sort of. Yes. Also, you have to pay attention that your eyebrows are still while you do that. At least mine still move. A lot of women now, they don't move. No, they're done. They're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. That's a bit of flexibility. Um, what else is important to include? It's a really important to make the difference between warm up and practice. Yeah, because warming up is for me just getting everything a little bit loosened, which is what we're trying to do today. We have five more minutes. We haven't done that much. It's strange, huh? Because we can't we can't get that much. Some questions. Do we have some questions? We have. We actually most people are playing, to be honest. So, um, so, so I have a question. Most people. Are, there's some chats going on. It's great to hear where you're all watching from. Thank you for writing, and it's great to see you. Tomorrow night, by the way, please tell all your trombone friends we have the global trombone horn hangout. Stefan, stop shaking your head. It's going to be fun. Don't please join us. We need you because the trombones don't know how to how to to work the chat. So it's 9 p.m. Berlin, which is. 3 p.m., the usual party time on a Friday night. Tomorrow, global trombone horn hangout. So please tell all your friends. I need your help on that one. Okay, a favorite, a favorite. Stefan J, what would you say is the most important thing for you while warming up in the morning? Can you show us? Well, I like to warm up. Actually, I like to warm up with the Farkas warm up. And I start usually with this warm up. It's like this. <laughs> And then you go up. Up in half steps. Oh, okay. This sort of warms up the entire range. I like, so I like to start at the end. I, I would like to do this one. I, I, I agree. I really like the Farkas exercise. I do warm up a lot on the F horn. I think that's really yeah, important to play a lot on the F horn in the mornings for the resistance for the air. So after, you know, noodling around, getting all our things open, um, I, I would like to do this. Maybe I'll do it and, and Stefan, you play it back with everybody else. Starting on an A flat on the F horn. Three. It's great to talk and play. Three. Talk and play. Four. Great.
big sound. important to warm up slowly you know and then get all the flexibility and everything going on Stefan you what what would you say would be your favorite and then we're going to have to call it a day for today because I've got another date at four o'clock in exactly I think, 20 I minutes. think already last time I I was saying that my I was always trying with the two octave just to have a nice freeze open sound, not too loud, just, you know, and then go step, step by step up. Can we do and one then, with you all together? Sure. Um, maybe start a bit higher, so not, not all the beginners might have a very low G. So let's start on B flat. A good but I, I, really, you know, I would start from G and go high and high so yeah yeah I really I really think that's a good one thank you everybody if you like these warm-ups let us know we are looking for things to do we've had some pretty bad news over here that people think they're not going to be any live concerts for quite a while and we we haven't had anything confirmed but we really we're really worried that we might be like this for quite a while and while we love to see you every day we're going to have to think of some sort of format because uh yeah all of us have to have to live and do stuff and and teach and if you have any ideas of what you would like on the horn hangouts please let us know stefan is already teaching on play with the pro so sign up for that maybe, yeah maybe maybe we can have one time also where where people can tell us what their best internet connection what the best platform for them is like oh let's let's compare because we need some you know, some yeah. input is always good and to see how it works, um, play the pro. That's, I mean, teaching on Zoom is a bit difficult because the sound always gets like regulated so much. Um, what thank, else you all, thank you. Thank you for all the suggestions. We'll go back and read them in the chat and then try out some and stuff then. with Handsome Tim. Handsome Tim, are you still there? No, I think he's gone to bed. So I'm, I'm going to end the stream today because um, I'm allowed to. I've got this. Oh, you're the administrator. I know. I'm the admin today. Tim's gone to bed. Um, I have I have one more new thing. It's yep. a, new, a, new, a new practice mute. Oh, show us. Uh, it looks like this. <laughs> it's very small. And actually, it fits quite well here. See? No sound. <laughs> Get your gummy bears now. Actually, we, where do we buy them? Everything's sold out over here. Yum, yum. Stefan and gummy bears, that is another story. Yeah. Um, the, the only other things we that disappear that fast in our horn rooms are peanut butter M&Ms. So, uh, That's you. Yeah, I know. Terrible. Hey, guys, thanks so much for joining. This was really great. Thanks for your input. Thanks for being here. And we'll plan something next week. We'll see what we're going to do. But first of all, tomorrow night, trombone party. Um, all the info will be on the on the website. Tell all your trombone playing friends. The guest list is amazing. You're going to be blown away by it. Um, I'll tell you when we go offline now, guys. OK, you get you get a, a hint. But thank you and see you tomorrow. And actually see, see you, Stefan. You Latin America, we'll see you in cinco, no, 15 minutes. I don't know how to say 15 in Spanish, otherwise I'd say it. Kisses. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. And we're... No, we're not. <laughs> I don't know if we're all... We're still on. on. I bye have then. no idea. Hang on. Bye.